scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. For you. The Lord wants to open because I'm seeing a door that is opening. And the Lord is saying I should pray. And I saw that name, Deborah, D-E-B-R-A. Maybe it's a short form for Deborah, I do not know. Can I pray for you? Father, in Jesus' name, you have spoken over these people. Let the anointing that makes for open doors right now, let that anointing rest upon you. Receive it right now. Let that anointing rest. Some of you, it will not be up to one month. It will not be up to one month. God will open strange doors for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, it will not be up to one month. I declare those doors open now. Open now, 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 in the name of Jesus Christ. Help them, the ones who came late, don't worry, you are in an atmosphere of the anointing. I stretch my hands towards you. Those who came after I'm done with the prayer, don't worry. The power of God is setting you free right now. Let that grace, that mantle for open doors for a new season, let it rest upon you now. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now please hear me. This may not be for everybody. But the Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing people climb a ladder. I don't know who that person is. That means God is saying the current season you are in, that it has come to an end. I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus, everybody who should go to the next level by the power that raised Christ from the dead, may the unction, the anointing that makes for that new level, receive help them please, receive it now. Receive it now. You have come past this mountain long enough. I command rise to a new level. Rise to a new season. Rise to a new season. In the name of Jesus Christ. For the Bible says the path of the just is as a shining light. Is that in your Bible? And hear me. If there is any barrier stopping you from rising higher, I decree and declare, let it clear out of the way now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now, the Lord is revealing something interesting for me. I just had the word laughter and the power of God is coming upon people. Literally, they're going to begin to laugh. Literally, I decree and declare right now. The Bible says the shout of joy and victory shall not depart from the tents of the righteous. Therefore, I declare, welcome to a season of laughter. Welcome to a season of laughter, financial laughter, marital laughter, career laughter. Oh, weeping and joys for a night, but I prophesy to you, your morning has come. With it comes laughter. Sarah said, and all who hear this will laugh with me. I decree and declare. Again, I say to you, laughter. Even by the spirit of the living God.
please don't think you are just receiving mere words no there is something coming upon your life the days of crying has come to an end the days of crying has come to an end now hear me please the lord is asking me to speak to someone every time good things happen you are afraid of them because it does not last whether it's good relationships or finances is like nothing has longevity in your hand the spirit that is behind it that makes your laughter and your joy short-lived in the name of jesus i command that it gives way now that it gives way now hallelujah i'm here to pray that prayer but there are two people you are in business you are in business but for a season it looks like things have not worked right now two of them it may be more but what god says to one he says to all but i'm seeing two people they will start running out now by the anointing please hold them is a grace for speed that is coming upon them i speak over your business help them in the name of jesus the son of the living god i don't know what it is that you do i use this once as a point of contact everything that has pegged your feet at the same level right now speed take that grace right now take that grace right now speed in the name of jesus christ no retrogression no stagnancy by the power that raised christ from the dead hallelujah the lord is opening my eyes and i'm seeing someone you came with an x-ray report an x-ray like a, an x-ray is if there's if you find that person let me speak over that person so that we can take a few testimonies all of you who are in front here in the name of jesus the spirits of oppression i declare by the power that raised christ from the dead you let them go right now go now release their destinies now release their families now release their businesses now in the name of jesus christ out of them now out of them now for upon mount zion the bible declares there shall be liberty and holiness and the sons of jacob shall possess their possessions i declare be free now hallelujah can i declare over open doors before we sit down he said i am he that was dead but now is alive and he holds the key of david there is a mystery in the spirit called the key of david he says with that key he opens a door that no man can shut i want to pray for you in the name of jesus there are doors that men can shut it depends on who is opening it i decree and declare anyone standing before a closed door please hear me in the name of jesus between august and september i prophesy to you enter your open doors Enter that open door. I speak to that door. Ephata, be open, be open, be open, be open, be open. You are the one with the. What is that? X ray. x-ray your own he just, he just woke up and couldn't walk again the boy woke up and couldn't walk doctor, again what happened to him nothing doctor said nothing they said he's uh, SS, but several days has proven how many how, how long is this this is two years now and he's 13 years he just woke up and couldn't walk yes sir you see these are the kinds of demonic things we are talking about how does someone just wake up in the morning no sign no symptom and he cannot walk madam you believe god will give your son yes, a miracle what's his name his name is kevin kevin yes sir in the name of jesus we agree as the church of the lord jesus christ over kevin 
that demonic spirit that has paralyzed him i declare liberty for him right now in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing this gentleman hold um what's that x-ray what happened to you i had an um, injury at the back the lower back at the neck and then i also have issues here medically confirmed yes sir what did they say is wrong with you they said it's the spondylosis lumbar spondylosis yes sir and then i i have yes i have, I have issues with my they said heart and the liver you have issues with your heart where are you coming from from joss joss yes sir oh dear madam how about you the same thing sir cervical spondylosis look at my x-ray how long I was just diagnosed last month. I was just having pain here down to my hands. And it was affecting my blood pressure and everything. What couldn't you do, my friend? I can't walk long distance. And then sometimes I, I have pain and then dizziness. Dizziness? I, yes, if I move my neck. Do you believe in Jesus? Very well, sir. You believe you can be healed? Yes, sir. Place your hand there. Madam, place your own hand on your chest. Hallelujah. You have won the victory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have won. hallelujah my friend look at me in the name of jesus christ don't don't put yourself under pressure eh? my sister god is removing something out of your body i'm looking at you and i'm seeing something coming out i command that devil to leave now out of her now in the name of jesus madam look at me just do what i ask you to do run go Try jumping. Survivors, don't worry, don't be afraid. You see what God is doing now. Hallelujah. Sir, look at me. How long has this been? For four months. Huh? Four months. Move your neck. Be careful. Move it. Move it. Move it. Look at me. My friend. Run. Go. Look at the guy is smiling. Move your neck. Try jumping. Try jumping. Ah. I don't know why the remaining of you are here, but then we'll pray. Please make sure it's just the case that. What, 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 what's, why is she here? What's wrong with her? Huh? Chronic kidney problem, sir. Cancer? Kidney problem. Kidney. kidney. Problem. Yes, oh, dear. Okay, that's all right. Please, until I mention the case, don't come out, eh? But what is her name? Tell me talk where you do. Let her talk. Talk where you do. How long has it been, my dear? Two months now. The doctor that wants me. Place your hand there. Let me pray for you. Since you took that step of faith to come. Do you know, let me tell you the truth. When miracles happen to people, eh? don't just rejoice, put yourself in their shoes. Then you will understand the power of a genuine miracle. A young lady like this now getting into trouble already. What did you say is the problem again? Chronic kidney problem, sir. Chronic? Kidney failure. Like the end stage. You see. What's that? Father, in the name of Jesus, look at me. Tell me, where is her name? Tell me, where you believe in Jesus? Sir. Huh? Yes, look sir. at me Jesus for your glory I pray in the name of Jesus that the spirit that is back of this 
in Jesus name I decree and declare I cause the spirit behind it let her go now out of her now out now in the name of Jesus Christ what couldn't she do um, she usually experiences um, swelling of the feet and she can't walk for a long okay time. look at me my dear gently huh move Look and leave, my brother, leave. Look to Jesus Christ and leave. It is recorded in his word. Hallelujah. It is only that you look. Look what has happened to this lady. Do you know? Let me tell you this. Believe me when I tell you, most medical conditions are spirits hallelujah my dear look at me move your legs don't worry don't be afraid just look at me move your legs help her move your legs she's under the anointing but be careful with her in the name of jesus christ i declare this kidney thing it goes permanently by the power of the holy spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Are we ready for a few testimonies? Sorry, sirs, for keeping you waiting. Yes, sir. Okay, let's sit and take a few testimonies. While that is happening, um, if you have not written your prayer request, let me pray for these ones. Let me pray for these ones very quickly who are lifting this. God bless you, sir. You check yourself. You can testify. Father, what? This, this is x-ray. Okay, for you. How about you? For you. You are standing for someone no, for, me, for you okay let me pray for them for you okay i'll pray for you father in the name of jesus i pray for all these people in the name of jesus visit them right now turn their situations around i don't know what the problem is but in jesus name let the power of god touch you supernaturally be healed completely in the name of jesus i rebuke that sickness i rebuke that infirmity help the gentleman eh? in the name of jesus christ for the gentleman for you and for this gentleman be healed in jesus name amen and amen please all right praise god apostle you gave a word of knowledge yes sir a bloated tummy a bloated tummy yes okay very quickly yeah i came into this service with um, a bloated tummy i was eating and it was not digesting so i came in i could not even pray but when you began to worship sing worship i felt something leave me and i'm free completely now yes, i decree and declare it never returns to you again by the power of the holy spirit yes please very quickly please arrange the people already so that we'll have a person she had an accident two years ago like half of her body was paralyzed two years ago yes she lost that very month i lost my that parent that you lost your parents and you had an accident that very day. since then i've been bringing out fluid it's only me that know what is going you've been on. taking out fluid i'll be bringing a cutter from this side one side okay and last week i saw my mom came coming to carry me i said no yesterday she came what she happened was, to you now everything she's healed now. completely yes. check she yourself was, she was to go for tests tomorrow. look at this National Hospital tomorrow. Oh, you are to go to National Hospital? Yes, for brain and... In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare, even as God has touched you, it remains permanent right now. In Jesus' name. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, Pastor Jason. So, Apostle, he came in here. We have quite a number of people that were healed from right shoulder. You wow. You spoke about that. We yes. I can see the man. Please talk, sir. What happened to you? Yes, I in Claba, Cross River State. Okay. Uh, after I traveled to my village in Ninja State and buried my mother, I went home. I went to do my work there. Then you went to bury your mother in the village. In the, in the village, State. yes. Mm -hmm. Then I I traveled back to Klaba. That was where the the incident happened. Just like that, my I couldn't understand myself. Let me pray for someone. If there's anybody who programs anything, the village is not a no-go area. And the village is not anybody's personal property. The earth is the Lord's and his fullness thereof. Anybody who programs evil for you, that as you go for whatever and you are returning, may their evil rest upon them. I say it again. May their evil rest upon them. 
evil cannot be threatened you have the liberty to go anywhere nobody can put any demonic rule and say don't come to any village by whose order anybody exchanging the life of young people with their own life to prolong them in the name of Jesus they have met their end this night is the reason why there's no development in many villages there are people who want to go and develop the place and these wicked people just sit down and destroy people in the name of don't come don't what nonsense is that is the village not part of the earth he went to bury his innocent mother and you know there are many of these kinds of issues where people innocently go some return back they go down financially everybody is shaking everybody is greeting and some of these people are people you even go out of your way to help anybody who took your name anywhere i'm praying for you now this night in the name of jesus both the altar the habalis and the initiator may the earth open and swallow them Hallelujah. What happened to you now, sir? As I said, then I, uh, from, uh, from um, my very, my brother, mother, I went back. Yes, to uh, what happened this uh, night, uh, sir? No, right now, I'm my uh, Praise God. Walk. Go ahead. Walk, sir. Look at, this is somebody who came, you, you, you can see this kind of situation. Sign the name of Jesus, what God has begun, I declare perfection of it. Supernaturally. In Jesus' name. Yes, sir. Play soccer as loud as you can, my friend, and straight to the point. Okay, um, sometimes last year I fell down in the field, and I, you fell down in the field, yeah, okay, and dislocated my left shoulder. And right now, yes, let him go, take it easy. And sir. Since then, I've, been, I've been in pains, you've so, been in pains. And what happened right now? The pain has disappeared. Check yourself. He plays football. You are serious about your football? Ah, this man plays football truly. Huh? <laughs> Hallelujah. I didn't need to ask him again, he answered me with that press up. Hallelujah. May God increase you, eh? Connect you to serious people who will take you higher. In Jesus' name. Yes, please. Go I ahead. I had an accident on 6th of, July, on 6th of June 2020. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. And the they car knocked me down. And since then, I've been having pain. I cannot raise my hand like this. I cannot raise my hand. Okay. And right now. Immediately, you made mention of right hand. Yes. I, Look at this. My hand. She had accident, and right now, let the devil see you. That's how you wave poverty goodbye. That's how you wave sickness goodbye. That's how you wave every demonic thing goodbye. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Yes, please. A testimony from Singapore. You made mention of from Singapore. Singapore of Veronica. Okay. Now, now she called the PR line of the lower abdominal pain that you gave the word of knowledge about. Now she's healed by the power of God. Okay. Yes, Daddy. She's, um, she said she's been suffering from severe lower back pain and cervical spondylitis, and she's not been able to stand up without any. And right now, right now, she called the phone. All the way from said, Singapore. Yes, she we give Jesus praise, and in the name of Jesus, we declare perfection for her. Yes, please. Difficulty in swallowing for the past one week. These are mothers. Difficulty in swallowing. Yes, sir. How long, my dear? Since last week. In the name of Jesus, we declare liberty for you. And blessings for your mom in Jesus name we pray amen. amen God bless you please you gave word of knowledge of someone throwing up she yes. came and she was even admitted in the in the medical stand or okay. now the throwing up has stopped and then she said she had an arrow attack last week that her neck just became still she couldn't turn her neck but now in the name of Jesus Christ she's here. it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit yes pastor Jakes please I, I had a seizure, seizure attack some years ago. Seizure? Yeah, and I fell and I had issues with my hand. And when you mentioned it, the, the pain just... Like just, that. Just, Lift it up now. In the name of Jesus Christ, it will never return to you again amen. by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. Yes. Is someone yes, celebrating oh, what Jesus I is doing? Yes, sir. Quite interesting. Yes. So... This has actually been tested by the medical team. Yes. So she had a, 
um, I was diagnosed of ulcer a few weeks ago, uh -huh. and I started taking medication three days ago. And um, I took this morning's dose. After coming, when I came here, I said I wasn't going to take it again. I mm. didn't take for afternoon. I didn't take for this night. After the test, it came out negative. Negative completely. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ. It will remain permanent in your life in Jesus' name. Yes, Benga. Three months shoulder and the pain. Three months shoulder pain. Yes. In Jesus' name, you are completely delivered. Yes, sir. Regurgitation. He regurgitates. He eats and then brings it out through the cord. He said he was having it, the symptom when he was in service. Wow. How long has this been, my friend? It has been for a very long time. You eat and you regurgitate. I regurgitate, but I take it to be a normal thing. But there have been a time, Apostle mentioned it, but the thing still continue. But this evening, while in the service, I was just coming from a, a party. So I was just feeling the, the symptoms. I would regurgitate, uh, regurgitate and uh, I was just hiding my face so that my... In the name of Jesus, down. it will not return to you again yeah. by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. God bless you. Yes. You Let's gave a you. word of knowledge of noise in the head. In the air for the noise past in the one ear. year, it has ceased now. God has completely yes, in the name of Jesus, it never returns to you again Amen. by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Let's take one or two. I had a dream on a Friday night. Um, I saw a snake, a long snake, brown, tiny but very long, entering my private part. Yes, and I woke up, I was very terrified, I was very scared. What happened as a result? I woke, I woke up my husband. I woke, I woke my husband up. So we prayed. I told him I could not sleep. Um, immediately, I began to feel movement in my body. Yesterday, Physica physically? Yes. Yesterday morning when I woke up, my stomach was very bloated, very big. And something was moving in my stomach. I was very uncomfortable. I'm a lively person. I'm outspoken. Yes. But my husband noticed that I was, I was just quiet. And what happened to you now? Now, when I came, I was busy spitting. I was just throwing spit up and down. So I have to go and buy sweet. Yes. All of a sudden, it has ceased. Completely. My, yes, my stomach has gone down. Lay your hands on your stomach. I decree and declare in Jesus' name, this freedom remains permanent. No, no demonic occurrence, whether through the dream realm or wherever, you are set free and free forever. In Jesus' name. Yes, please. Apostle, God is doing fantastic things online. Online. Yes, please follow carefully. Yes. Okay, Daddy, we have a couple of testimonies online. We have a brother who had a hole in his teeth and then got filled up supernaturally. Hole in his teeth. Yes, sir. Make sure he verifies it medically. Go ahead. Yes, Praise sir. God and for that miracle. Yes. You gave a word of knowledge concerning abnormal sweating. Yes. And then it stopped completely. Completely. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then we have one to meet up from Lagos. Um, also pain disappeared completely absolutely. in the name of Jesus yes. Christ praise the name of the Lord now we may not be able to have all the testimonies let's have just maybe two to each and then we'll just pray generally while that is happening please make sure you forward your prayer request how many of you still have your prayer request lift it up now please bring it out pass it to the last person by your left or right and then the ushers will quickly pick it, especially for overflow three. There are so many of, I mean, the I said overflow three, the overflow outside. Let's have, let's have, um, please gather it very, very quickly so that we can come and pray. I love to pray on the request because that is the most accurate representation of your desires. Yes, sir. Um, on Saturday, morning after a midnight prayer yes I had a confrontation in the dream okay so with a woman so I, god helped me with her so since then when i woke up i started feeling pain at my right chest okay so i went to meet the doctor yesterday he said i should do an x-ray so i'm to come back on tuesday for the report so i was upstairs there yes and you gave a word of knowledge about the chest pain immediately i felt a cold sensation from the from your head down and it's gone in jesus name it remains permanent even by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. Yes. Are we done? Okay. Yes, please. Oh dear. Now I love children. Let me hear this boy. So, Apostle, he said he fell up. He, he fell down? Yes. But his head was swollen and the power of God touched him. The pain is gone. My friend. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are healed, eh? And in Jesus' name, may you not only be healed, you will carry the anointing to heal nations. 
You don't know if it's your own child, you will heal one day. Say amen. Oh. amen. Hallelujah. God bless in Jesus' name. Yes, please. She used to have defect in her eyes that she sees someone double. She sees oh, she I, I when, see. When this, she came here, let, let us speak. Give it to her. Straight to the point. Amen. Good evening. Um, Straight to we have, God okay. bless you. Straight to the point. Let's let's go. Okay, so um I came to service this evening. I have been using these glasses um since last year in November. Okay. So when I came to service, I was sitting up there. This is actually my first time here. I was practically dragged to this place. And uh, I was sitting up there and I was looking at the man of God and I was seeing him double from up there. But I said, No, I'm not going to wear these glasses. I'm going to um keep these glasses aside and focus on the and what happened now and the, just because of the prayer i i i noticed that i can see you like clearly just, yes just come one. on now give and, jesus and praise my glass broke and my glass oh broke. your glass is broke glass broke because of the prayer yes, my glass is broke thank you jesus in the name of jesus christ your miracle is permanent in jesus name let's have the Let last one there and association symptoms healed by the power of god in the name of jesus May God bless you. Okay, let's have the oh, last one. You yes, gave sir. This word of knowledge. Yes, um, you said um, there's someone that couldn't make his feast. So as soon as I, as the one word went out, I tried to make my feast, and I noticed my hand is normal now. Normal. Yes. For these and all the other testimonies in the name of Jesus, we declare that your healings remain permanent. And for those who didn't have an opportunity to testify in Jesus' name, I decree and declare that your healing, your miracles remain permanent. In Jesus' name I pray. While we're collating the prayer request, can you stand on your feet? Let me give you two or three prayer points and then we'll pray and I speak over your life and we're done. Don't be tired of praying. Prayer point number one. Are you ready to pray? Say in the name of Jesus. Please shout it loud and clear. In the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that from this day forward, I make reasonable progress. Go ahead and pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Someone is praying everywhere. In the name of Jesus, I make reasonable progress. Reasonable progress. The Bible says he went forward, he advanced until the Philistines envied him. He began to prosper and to go forward. In the name of Jesus from this day. Someone pray as you are declaring so it will become in your life. Embre de Zaziga Paros Karika Tosha Fredes Kalebata Embra Katoskiata. I make progress. Koinonia makes progress in the name of Jesus. Supernatural progress by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Shout it, say in the name of Jesus. Everything required for my excelling in this new season. I receive it by faith. Go ahead and pray. Everything needed. Connections, resources, spiritual intelligence, access to the hearts of kings. Everything required for your excelling. Someone pray. Everything required. Man of God, pray. Politician, pray. Businessman, pray. And God is able to make all grace abound towards you so that ye having sufficiency in all things that you will abound in every good work. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus Christ everything needed for my excelling in this new season hallelujah are you tired of praying say in the name of jesus every person and every platform anointed to announce me in this season i decree and declare it must work in my favor. Go ahead and pray. Every person and every platform, they will walk in my favor, announcing the good tidings of Jesus. The Bible says when Jesus was born, there, were, there was a star that announced his arrival. Every person and every platform that should announce you, announce your business, 
announce the investment of the spirit upon your life to your world activate them by prayer in the name of jesus christ hallelujah say in the name of jesus i decree and declare that the lord of peace himself will give me peace always and by all means lift your voice and pray the giver of peace trouble is far from your life someone is declaring as we get into the ember months trouble is far from my life the god of peace himself is granting me peace always peace in the name of jesus final prayer point and then we'll pray over your request hallelujah are you ready to pray say in the name of jesus the mantle for favor rest upon my life the mantle of honor rest upon my life go ahead and pray decree and declare the mantle for favor the mantle of honor rest upon my life someone is praying rest upon my life favor and honor rest upon my life for the sake of his majesty rest upon my life rest upon my life favor honor at the gates favor honor with gatekeepers with captains of industry in politics in government in career in ministry someone pray is a serious prayer point the mantle for favor the mantle of honor rest upon my life for in jesus name we pray please stretch your hands towards the altar and begin to declare over the request that you wrote now there are things you may not be able to tell everybody but if you are here to write you're here to bring your requ your request please bring it let's have anyone's left please stretch your hands and begin to declare the bible says in philippians chapter 4 and verse 6 it says be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be made known unto god someone is praying go ahead and declare go ahead and declare in the name of jesus go ahead and declare someone is praying people are already receiving answers in the name of jesus christ go ahead and declare over this prayer request i decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit someone is praying this captivity comes to an end this captivity comes to an end this captivity comes to an end for someone declare prophetically i close every negative door i open every door blessing favor lifting in the name of jesus Please, if, if there are still some, let's let's have them so that we can pray. Don't be tired. You are declaring by miracle service September, you are only returning with thanksgiving. For in Jesus' name we pray. Shout a loud amen. amen. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, every Pharaoh and every king that must send for you, even if they are hedonistic, the king that sent for Joseph was not a believing king but he still sent for him i don't care where the quotas are provided it is directed by god whoever must send for you for your rising i declare they send for you now everything you have started and yet not been able to complete 
by the power that raised Christ from the dead. We are getting into September. September is the ninth month. I decree and declare, may this be the month where you give birth. Supernaturally. That which has been locked up in your spirit. In the name of Jesus. Let me pray for everyone in ministry. Every pastor. Everyone serving the Lord. Anything that represents shame and reproach in your ministry. In the name of Jesus, it dies permanently now. I feel a strong stirring in my spirit to pray over families. In the name of Jesus, I bow my knees to the Lord of heaven. Any family here going through storms. Any family here that has been asking, Lord, where are you? In the name of Jesus, may my God and your God answer speedily. Answer speedily. Whoever has interrupted your helper and stopped them from coming to you, in the name of Jesus, anyone who has come in the spirit of Sambalat and Tobias to stop what you are building from finishing, I clear them out of the way now. And whoever said, where is your God? May your testimony this week be the answer. May your testimony this week be the answer. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let me pray for those who are in Abuja here. But I'm going to pray prophetically for everyone. Listen to me. God is the God of portions. Any family that is yet to be structurally established. I'm praying for you. I want you to believe it. In the name of Jesus, the resources and the access for God to give you your own place. He called it Rehoboth. He said, for God has given my, I, my own space. Where your land is in this city or in this nation and where the resources for God to honor you with structural establishment to give you the focus to live destiny with dignity. I release that grace upon you now. everyone jobless by miracle service september return with your employment letter every business that is dying or going down you come back to life now hear me in the name of jesus even though i know that around our nation things seem very tight when you look at things physically it looks like things are not lining up but i want to place a mark of exemption upon you i decree and declare please hear me by the power that raised christ from the dead when men say there is a casting down let it be minus you i say it again let it be minus you in the name of jesus christ any demonic programming to kidnap you or any of your loved one please receive this prayer whether by road whether in the air as we get into this ember months by the power that raised Christ from the dead for as long as you're on the road no devil will stop you to oppress you <laughs> hallelujah the poverty in the land seems to have multiplied evil people now boggle people's homes boggle people's cars and steal things sometimes petty things because they feel they want to make ends meet in the name of jesus i decree and declare your home your children and all who are connected to you they are safe even as we enter the ember months in the name of jesus finally let me pray over your spiritual life we are first a people who are spiritual and our work with God, our spiritual understanding, the character of the Christ in us is priority. No matter what else we have, if our spirituality is troubled, then we're in trouble. Are we together? Let me remind you that in order of priority, your relationship with God, your passion for his presence, your passion for prayer, 
your passion for fasting, your passion for the word of God, your passion for the house of God. These are biblical indices that measure your spiritual health. And if at any point in your life these indices fall or falter, it means something is wrong. In as much as I've spoken over every other area of your life, it is important that your spiritual fire remains strong, that you are spiritually vibrant and alive. Are we together? Whether you buy cars or houses, if you are going down spiritually, you are not growing in knowledge. This is why week after week we gather. Every meeting is a miracle service, but we dedicate time the last um, Sunday of every month to be able to minister to the needs of people. But it is important that you submit yourself to gain thorough spiritual understanding. I pray for you. The fire that is upon your altar will not go down. I pray for you. Anyone suffering from spiritual laziness, you've seen that the last one month, the last few weeks, your prayer life has gone down. No grace to fast, no grace to pray. In the name of Jesus, I declare, be free from that oppression. I pray for you from tonight. As you open your Bible, let light come from Scripture. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray for you, may your life, even your ministry, let it be characterized with signs and wonders. In the name of Jesus Christ. Any wrong relationship around your life that is impeding your spiritual growth, I cut you away from it permanently. And I, I reintroduce godly people into your life. In the name of Jesus. I decree and declare beginning from tonight, let it be a week of super... Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Salaska de Bashkana Kata Branda Katekatos. Kata Branda Kata Bakotosko Pobre Kateka Nekata. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.